Yeah, yeah. That's what we like. That's the only thing that keeps me quiet, isn't it? A bit of food. Rest of the time, the noise is coming, people. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's good and crispy bacon. That's what we like. I'm surprised they haven't put more, more. I know there's you there's cameras right at the top of this road as well. So yeah, we could go and have a look. Or, or we could go home, I don't know. I know someone else, someone else has already already messaged me and told me about these ones up the top. He mentioned them in a message to me earlier. So yeah, I don't think I I think it's pointless going people. So yeah, I think we just uh just march around the block here and get get ourselves home. Um, I don't know if there's a driveway, there's footpath all the way through the park. Because I'm not walking through the park if I've got, I've only got like Adidas on. So, yeah, I weren't expecting no rain or or, uh, or wetness. So, yeah, we've come out just in trainers and said it weren't going to rain. Mm. There's a nice roll too. I hate it when you, you like, sometimes the bacon's really nice and then the roll's bad or, or you've got really bad bacon and a really nice roll but yeah both of these are good people the rolls are really good and the bacon so yeah Nisa's Cafe get yourselves in there decent bacon rolls yeah come just how you cook it as well you there's a you there's a nobbled round in Linden we'll give it a little two hour soak and we'll come out again maybe just to make sure just for my own peace of mind I mean it's, it's getting a bit boring I'm used to having to work, so I've still got to like, do something. I've still got to get out here and move about. Otherwise, I'll just sit in there at night with like, too much energy, can't sleep. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's 26K now. I look smashing it, people. I weren't even looking. Yeah, cheers, Shelley. No, I'm too busy like thinking about my bacon roll and eating and stuff. And this is good. It tastes like they've toasted the bacon roll up a little tiny bit as well. So, or the roll. So, yeah, it's good. This is cafe, people. Mm. Oh, there's a nice holly bush there for Christmas. Hanging over public land. Loads of berries on it. Who's going to be making their own Christmas wreaths? Yeah, yeah, Christmas is next, isn't it, people? Get Christmas wreaths. Bit of weeping willow. Wind that into a little ball. You don't need anything else except Weeping Willow to make the actual wreath. It'll hold together by itself if you do it right. And then just like, decorate it, a bit of pine tree, a bit of holly. Off you go, people. Three wreaths in your area. All you've got to do is find a Weeping Willow tree, a pine tree or a spruce tree, and off you go. So, like, often I'll take, uh, I'll take trimmings off the Christmas tree because they often come too big, don't they? So you use the, Christmas, the trimmings off the Christmas tree to do the wreath. You know, you make them, they look like they, they, you paid like 50, 60 quid for it. And you, you just sat there and made it at home. It's so easy, people. No, I do stuff like that. But yeah, you see these people going out and getting robbed for a couple of twigs. And you're just like, oh my God, really? You, you paid 50 quid for that? When you could have just done it yourself very easily. But yeah, it's that sort of throwaway society. People don't care. They're just too lazy to learn it, too lazy to do it, isn't they? But yeah, not around here. I like to know how to do stuff. So yeah, we learn, we teach ourselves. Hmm. There's a public footpath, huh? Right, I'll go sign over. The railway bridge, that one. Mm. Sorry, Pete, we're having a bit of a merry. I'm trying to, trying to put, eat my bacon roll, pull my belt tighter, because my trousers are too big. Yeah, it's not <laughs> having a bit of palavers. He's got like, a little monkey fuzzle tree in their garden. A little monkey puzzle tree over there, Hersey's Road. Only a little baby one, but yeah, why not, eh? Uh, posties here. These posties, like double yellow lines all the way. Yeah, the posties love a double yellow, didn't they? They, don't, they forget that they're a private company now and they don't work for the Queen anymore and they're not allowed to do that, are they? Are they allowed to do that? Is that against the rules, folks? On a double yellow, look, a solid double yellow either side of that. So, yeah, I don't know if. Uh, that's allowed or not but yeah we've had a few more Royal Mail vans with the dubious parking court on camera haven't we right, let's go right who's got a question for us who's got a question yeah morning Mark mate how we doing bruv 
Yeah, we're just having breakfast, mate. I'll be uh, off and running in the commentary at about another three or four more bites. Mm. This is probably the, uh, the culprit posty up here. It's way up there. You probably can't kind of see the geezer up there moving around. That's got to be him on the double yellow, isn't it? I think we found our culprit, people. I don't... Yeah, well, breakfast is a scam anyway, people, because, like... Yeah, you should wake up. I, I've, I've very rarely eaten, like, early in the morning in my life. I, like, normally have start eating about now. Eat for, like, six or seven hours and then just fast for the rest of the time. Don't know. There's no fans about, G, G1. No vans about, but yeah, breakfast at 1 p.m. There's nothing wrong with that, mate. Look at the animal kingdom, people, right? So in the animal kingdom, what animal wakes up and it's just got food available? None, right? So naturally, your body provides energy in the morning when you wake up to go out and sort of hunt a gatherer. But you don't realise it, so you fill yourself up with a load of breakfast. It's no good. I find I've got more energy in the morning if I don't eat. Um, after two weeks of skipping breakfast, you won't go back, people, trust me. Yeah. Like I say, sometimes when I eat in the morning, it just finishes me off for the day. I did it the other week at a protest. I think it was about 10 a.m. I ate three bacon rolls. And it done me for the entire day. I was like, ah, that properly messed me up eating them three big bacon rolls like that. I'm surprised I've got them down me, to be honest. So, uh, sometimes I can eat like that, and sometimes I can't. So, yeah, that day there was a hole there, so it got filled with, like, they were twice the size of this as well, but it was a softer roll. This is quite a chewy roll, so, yeah, it takes a little bit longer to, to munch it down. Oh, bust it, eh? Flying. Good boy. Yeah, we're going to come back on these, uh, a set of lights on Sweetcroft in a second. I'm just walking down Sweetcroft now. Just turned into it. So, yeah, anyone who wasn't on when we got there earlier, we'll show you the stickers again. Well, Phantom Sticker Man had been, like, 20 minutes, half hour ago. No vans about. Yeah, I sit and never eat in the morning. Yeah, breakfast is the breaking of the fast. So that should happen at lunchtime. Breakfast is a scam, people, I'm telling you. Like, we only should be eating for about, not eating a window of seven hours, and for the other 17 hours, fast each day. Um,